So what are we up to? Three? Let me show you a fourth exercise. For this, I'm going to need a, a little stool. So this is the fourth exercise. Just get yourself a little stool. Dips. If I were to choose two exercises that I would, use, that I would do in order for mass, it would be the dumbbell, two hands, dumbbell behind the head, heavy, followed by this. If I could only choose two, those are the two best exercises that I find. They're able to, they allow me to pinpoint the tricep. All right, so let me show you how to do the dips. You want a close grip, not too far, close grip, but a comfortable grip. All right? Now, you stay as close to the bench as you can. So you don't go out here, you go here, as close as you can. And it's a straight down, stretch at the bottom, up, and squeeze. Straight down, stretch, up, and squeeze. Make sure you squeeze on the top. It makes a big difference. Down, and up, and squeeze. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can raise your feet. If you raise your feet, basically all your weight falls on your triceps. Right now I have half my body supported by my feet, and the other half are on my triceps. If I really want to make it heavier, I would raise my feet, I would put a little stool, let me show you how. So you go like this. You simply make it harder. You raise your feet, and we do it again. Boom, like that. Down, and up. And squeeze. Down, and up. And squeeze. Down, and up, and squeeze. All right? So that's four excellent exercises, four triceps, you can do it at home. Let me show you one more. Get your body parallel to the ground. So I'll use this tool right here. All right? You bring your arm parallel to the ground also. This part of the arm is perpendicular. Simple movement. You just extend the arm and flex. Down. Extend the arm, and flex, and down. Extend the arm, flex, always important to flex, and down. Make sure you don't use any momentum. It's not, no, it's like this. Flex, control, on the way up, on the way down, always. You're always controlling the weight going up or going down. For most of these exercises, there's two ways you can stress the, uh, the muscle to failure. It's the positive part of the exercise and the negative part of the exercise. The, so what you should do is try to go to failure on both. This is how you're gonna gain some serious size. You should push the positive, and when you can't do it anymore, then you should do some negatives. You're generally stronger on the positive side. So the positive for tricep would be the actual extension. That's the positive. The negative would be the reverse. So positive, negative. Also, you can do some forced reps, which are really good. So you would do as many as you can in good form. So let's say I was doing the, the kickbacks. I would do as many as I can. Once I can't do any more, use one arm to assist you. Or just bring it up and then focus on the negative portion of it. So you're not focusing on this portion squeezing, you're actually forced, you're actually for, you're actually uh, pinpointing the reverse. This is the negative. The positive is the actual squeeze bringing it up and the negative is the reverse. So. Go to failure on the positive portion of the exercise, and then once you reach uh, failure on the positive side, go to failure on the negative portion. This way you get to stress it 
uh, on both portions of the exercise. One final, one final exercise that I'd like to show you is the close grip tricep push-up. Excellent also for a mass tricep uh, exercise. It helps to put on some serious size on the triceps, all right? So now let me show you how to do that. I like to use a stool. You can actually go straight on the ground if you want. The idea is to try to bring your hands as close as possible. The closer you bring your hands, the more you work your triceps. I don't necessarily like to bring my hands too close because it does put stress on your wrists and on your elbows. So I'll, I'll bring it relatively close. So I bring it about that far. This is how I keep my hands. I won't really go closer than that. So I'll go that. It's plenty. It'll still work your triceps. And like I said, I like to use a stool. Uh, this way, I won't go all the way. All right? So, start off like this. Keep the body uh, par parallel. You don't need to have it so high. You don't need to be low. Keep it parallel. The, the body itself is going to stay stationary. The only thing that moves is the arms. So, keep your body tight, straight. And we start off like this. Straight down, and straight up. Squeeze on the top. Straight down, and straight up. Squeeze on the top. Straight down, straight up. Straight down, straight up. Always squeezing on the top. Straight down, straight up. All right? A note for my brothers that are just starting out, sometimes you'll find that you won't be able to pinpoint the exercise. For example, you're trying to do a tricep exercise, but your shoulders are hurting and your chest is hurting. Uh, that's probably because you're just starting out. As you get accustomed to the exercises, you'll be able to pinpoint it and work the actual muscle that you're trying to work out. So if it's a tricep exercise, you'll feel it primarily in the triceps. And then when you get really good at it, then you're really good at flexing the, flexing the actual muscle that when you work it out, you only feel it in the tricep. Your shoulders don't come into play, your chest doesn't come into play, it's only on the tricep. So when you're trying to do bicep, you feel it all on, only on the bicep. When you're doing chest, you don't feel it on the shoulders, you don't feel it in the triceps. Initially, yes, because the exercises are new, the movement is new, you're not used to it, so all your auxiliary muscles come into play, which is normal. Once you get more accustomed to it, you'll be able to pinpoint, flex, and you'll be able to focus on the actual muscle group that you're trying to work out. So this only comes with time, a little bit of experience, and as you get more and more comfortable with the exercises and the weights and the machines, and then it gets better and better. All right? Thanks for watching. Salam.